Hello, YouTube. My name is Equagan. You can just call me EK. I stream live on Twitch every day. Play a lot of Destiny. Now I'm going to be jumping into more of Genshin. And this video is to basically break down why I do my Corrupted as Sponges three times a week on each character. And another reason why I always go and I do my, uh, my dungeon, which is the Moon Dungeon, the Pit of Heresy. So let's just go through it. I'm going to show you the loot real quick right possibilities like right now my helmet my base helmet is actually uh a lichen helm and the lichen helm is something that can drop from the the, the corrupted the sponges the thing about the sponges is the first three that you do each week on each character can either give you a high stat piece of gear or a weapon with two different perks right so if i look at this you can see that i have like you know 12 resilience, 23 recovery, 31 intellect, right? That's a great piece of gear. Also, I have this 63 helmet here. And if I go through all of this, this is also like in Gauntlet, right? That was a base 63. This chest piece is a base 65. This is a 66. You can see that it has 29 recovery on it, which is basically 31 recovery. Uh, 23 intellect, if you master work this, or even this pair of boots that gives me resilience and intellect. Both at 24 if I fully master work this. All right. Now, these are things that you can get and you can basically kind of build your characters out. Right. You're like, man, how does this person have like triple hundreds? It's because over time you farm for this stuff and then you can put it together. All right. There's also a website I told people about for the longest time. It's a destiny building site. It looks at all your armor and then it gives you the possibilities that you can put together. I'll put the link for that in this video description. Now, another thing that you can get, though, is this. You can get a weapon, and the last two uh, slots can have different perks on it. So you're not losing out here when you do this because you can end up with a weapon that has two different perks, right? Uh, it is any weapon that are from this season. So if you own this season and you have Corrupted Sponges unlocked, you should do this three times on each character. Now, what you need is something called a Corrupted Key Code. You can basically hold up to five in your postmaster and five in your character. The trick to this, especially if you're doing a lot of end game and you see uh, a lot of those blue triangles drop on the ground, you kind of like whenever you get to four, right? You don't want to pick that up. You leave it there. So then when you leave that activity, it's going to go to your postmaster. All right. You basically just need nine for the week. So I currently have four on my characters now. Right. But then if I look at my postmaster, you can see that I have uh, four on my hunter and five on my warlock. Right. So the main thing is to try to have them ready for the next week. Because after the first three, when you open up that chest, you'll get something, but it's not going to be a high stat piece of armor or a weapon with two perks. All right. Now, the next trick here is if you want to focus your stuff, right? I know that my Titan is probably going to get a lot of resilience gear and a lot of strength gear. So on my ghost, I put on the intellect armor. Basically, that means that I get to... Uh, Go for resilience and intellect or strength and intellect, right? That means that those two stats are going to show up. And since the game tells me that I'm, I'm going to be getting a high stat armor, I know that I can kind of distribute that. So your ghost is also something that can play uh, a huge part here. You can go into recovery. You go into resilience. You go into strength. You go to uh, mobility or even discipline if you wanted to. So if you had like a certain build and you were trying to figure stuff out, this would be the best thing. Now, when it comes to the moon dungeon, right? What you could do is possibly just go to LFG and pick up a checkpoint because people do keep this checkpoint. It is the pit of heresy, all right? The final boss is guaranteed a high piece stat of armor. You're going to do that once. It is not farmable. But each week, if you do it on each character, over time, you might build something up, right? Now, a lot of people ask me, where's the best place to get good armor? You could do this, you could do this basically each week just casually and before you know it you'll probably have a nice set if not you have the dungeon called prophecy you can farm the final boss for good gear and that gear after your first completion the gear goes to your postmaster one thing to pay attention to you can't just go to that check one and farm it right away the game wants you to do the whole dungeon first but you can trick it you can basically just do the first encounter right the first encounter which is uh the big taken boss with the shield you kill him and then you go to the final boss you don't have to go through the the the, the, the whole like shifting room or anything you do the first encounter the game counts that you have done it 
And then you go to the final checkpoint, which is the boss, and you can farm that for the rest of the week. And it will drop you high stat armor. And I recommend using the ghost for the same thing. Now, I'm going to run this uh, this a sponge here so I can show you, like, ways to make it faster for you. Also, when it comes to gear, exotics, base exotics, the highest you can get is 72. That is rare. You're probably not going to get that. Um, when it comes to legendary armor, though, it is 69. So you're going to get stuff that are about, you know, uh, 66, 67, 68. If you get 69, you're at the cream of the crop. Like, you got, like, one of the, like, highest pieces base stat armor in the game for legendary gear. But most of this is pretty simple. You kind of go through. You're going to be running down. There's going to be a wall that can potentially kill you. Uh, one way to survive that wall, there's little places that you can kind of hide into. Or you can run back towards that wall. And it, uh, like that thing that just went in front of me there, you could turn around and run through it, and you would take less damage. But this part, I mean, just take your time. You can kind of go through it. If you know how to sword skate as a titan, you can basically just sword skate your way through this part. I generally just tell people, if you're going through here, right, take your time. You can always jump to the side if you think that thing is going to hit you, and then you can come back in. This part is pretty simple. And I would say as long as you make it to this uh, door, you're fine. And boom, we're in. So the next part, there are multiple ways to kind of get around. If you're on a hunter, right, I would say just use stompies for this part. And then you can always switch at the end. I like to run uh, bottom three Goldie with Nighthawk at the end because I know that I can basically kill the boss in one of the waves, right? So the game basically makes you do three waves. I normally like to only do two of them. So what I like to do is bring the boss almost to final health and then go for the kill. Now, this part right here is if you want to save some time, you can do this. You can basically go to the left side here. There are multiple ways to kind of get across. You could jump up here and then go to your left. And then from here, you can jump up to this spot right here. All right. And once you get up to this spot, you basically made it. All right. This is one of the ways to get here. Now I'm going to wipe and I'm going to show you basically the other way to kind of get here that I like better on each character. You can go through the right side too, but I'm not going to recommend that. So I'm just going to show the left and I'm going to show the mid. All right. This also kind of gives me time to get my super so I can explain what you can basically like skip, like how you can skip a phase here. Here we go. Will I die again? I, I, oh, I almost died again. That's crazy. Wow. I just need to get good at the game before I get outplayed again. All right, so the spot that I like to go to is right here. You see that box in front of you? You can basically jump up and get on this box. And from here, that path is straight forward. All right, boom, you're through. So you saw that there's the left path and there's the middle path, right? And then you can basically kind of skip this whole room and go to the next one. Um, if you're running with friends and you're the fastest person that gets in the room, all you have to do if you start it is have them like wipe and they'll basically get pulled up to you. Um, now there, there's two supers that can basically help you push through of the second wave of the boss and you don't have to do a third. The reason why I say that is because the Titan, you can do it with Thunder Crash and the chest piece. The hunter, you can do a Nighthawk. But the Warlock, uh, sadly, none of the supers, like, kind of work the way I wanted it to. Also, you can't break this shield if you're using an anti-barrier weapon. I don't know who set that up, but it's probably just a bungee thing. Okay, so the boss is gone. Ads are going to come in. There are two boxes you got to break, right? I normally could break that box from there. And then if you jump right here, you can see the other box from this angle. All right. There it goes. Now, what I like to do is bring the boss to basically one shot, but not push him away. So right there, you see that? See the boss's health? Boom. You use your super. 
and you skip a phase. That's basically it. Ooh, look, I got Lightkin helmet. The only thing you get from like repeating these are the the, the, the crypto data. As you can see here, that piece of gear was a 55, which is terrible. I'm gonna delete it. But yeah, that's it. This is why I do my corrupted sponges each week, and this is why I also do my uh my moon check points three times each week. And if you need to know how to get you know high stack gear, I kind of broke that down in the video. Thank you for watching. If you like it, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Um, and make sure to turn on your notifications for the next video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later.